Welcome to Bowl Week. Glad to have you with us from Boca Raton, Florida, for what ought to be an exciting matchup in the RoofClaim.com Boca Raton Bowl. While this game caps off the regular season, how that season is remembered will be impacted greatly by what happens in this game. As we'll see the number 24 team in the country, the Stanford Cardinals. Taking on a team from the AAC, the Tulane Green Wave. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Kickoff team out there ready to tee it up and get this bowl game underway. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Cardinal offense will take the field to get things underway. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All ten guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. Picks his way and gets four out to the 27. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Movement on the offensive line. That's going to be a false start, and they'll walk it back. False start. False start. False start. False start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. He's got his man. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Green Wave offense heads onto the field for their first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. He steps out of bounds with a first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. Exploded for a huge chunk of yards on that last one. They'll try to do it again here, first and 10 from the 33. The running back has it. Powerful running as he trucks his way to the 28. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. It's a draw. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. He's going to try to punch one through from 45 yards away. Absolutely perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy. So after the main field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll start the return inside his spot. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. 
The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. They've got the screen set up. And they gave him no chance to get loose, and they force a fourth down. The Cardinal will have to boot it away. Second time today, they've been forced to punt. Fair catch called for and taken at the 30-yard line. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Handoff from the gun. Makes one man miss. A couple of guys there to get him on the ground. Third down after the run. They'll run play action. Lost one deep down the right side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Pretty solid coverage there. They'll stop him at the 26. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Using the quick game, they're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Trying to pick it up on the ground. Nice move to keep moving. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. Stanford gets set to snap it on first down. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense. Defense. defense a little too anxious there they're just making it easier for this offense here's the handoff just a solid stop by this sophomore offense in a bunch formation out of the gun the running back has it and they'll stop him after a minimal pickup offense breaks the huddle it's third down They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They knock him down, but he gets enough to give Stanford a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll try the running game off the right tackle. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. Guys, the quarter comes to a close, and Tulane has the lead here. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. They've made clutch, tough plays on this drive on third down. They need one more on third and seven. Fires to the wideout. He's got him wide open. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little... And you race it to the house. Touchdown, Cardinal! That touchdown was a clinic in keeping your offense
offense on the field and wearing the other defense out. Sometimes your best defense is your own offense. Being able to stay on the field, you're absolutely right, Maurice. That was a clinic. Running the ball, playing at great rhythm and pace, QB making good, smart decisions, and not shooting yourselves in the foot. No penalties, no turnovers. It doesn't get any better than that last drive. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and he found his way to the end zone from the seven to cap it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable for that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Grab behind the line, it's Williams. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to get it through the air. They're trying to get to it. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The gift to the back. Shakes off the defender. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Let's see if they go back to the run here on third down. Thompson wants to throw. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. Use the play fake now to throw. Fires one high and deep. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the returner is stopped. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. The back goes in motion. They'll start this drive with a pass. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. The defender was right there. Looking to throw on second down. Setting up the screen. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Looking to throw for it. And they got him for the sack. Linebackers are so fast nowadays, so multiple. They can do so many different things. Not only do they play the run, but if I need you to go get a sack, I can just send you. Send one of those fast linebackers that can rush the quarterback. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. In punt formation to kick it away. Makes a catch. Wants to make a move upfield. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. To the ground with the back. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Leaves it with the back. 
Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Unloads to the wideout. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Stamper lines up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Fair catch called for and made. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into it... He's loose! You want to talk about shifting the field in an instant, he's got it all the way down to the 10-yard line! Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. It's starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Quick pass on the jet motion. Touchdown, Green Wave! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. This offense is so explosive, they can change the scoreboard in a flash. You just saw that on that drive. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Stanford has it back. The Cardinal offense returning to the field. Off the play fake on first down. He's looking deep. And just not enough field to hold that one. It's incomplete. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Back to throw, it's Daniels. Finds the tight end. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. They didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Finds his back in the middle. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The clock is not their friend. Got to get everybody to the line quickly. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. And they got the defense on that one. And they get it to the 29-yard line. They keep attacking through the air. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, open, open. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. They'll go to the air. Throws to the wideout. It's caught. Tackled there by the defense. Set up for second and short after that completion. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. Got enough space. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with a lead? They have a chance to do it here. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Barges ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Stanford! That is exciting. 
exactly what you want in your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. On the move from inside his spot. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. Thompson to throw. Getting some heat. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he's looking downfield. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Running back searching for a hole. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hauls it in and looking upfield. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Unloads to the wideout. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. They'll line up for a second down play. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. And the quarterback is snowed under. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Reese, talk about an edge of your seat type first half, or as they call it here, just another typical Boca Raton Bowl. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's head back to Reese and the fellas for the conclusion of the Boca Bowl. Stanford set to boot it deep to start this second half. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. Hold it, finds his man on the left. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. Second down coming up. Thompson wants to throw. And he is going down here, but we have a penalty marker at the oh, line so of scrimmage. They may have jumped the gun. Good job by the QB there, using his cadence, using his clapping, trying to get this defense offside. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. Ball in the air, intercepted! Got room on the return. He was hoping for that interception return for the touchdown, but he's brought down at 27. And that's just excellent cover. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Offense getting set for first down. And off from the shotgun. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. 
I think this team knew going into halftime trailing, their defense was going to have to step up here in the second half. And on the very first play of the third quarter, they get a sack. That is good news for this defense. Third play of the drive, and they need to make something happen here on third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Buckmeyer. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. Kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Thompson to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. That one could really put this drive into high gear as they have a first down at the 37. They'll go to the ground. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll leave it with him. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Looks as if that'll be enough for a two-lane first down. This drive's been productive so far. Already picked up a couple of first downs, now out close to midfield. Gets it out fast. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. Quickly to the tight end. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. He's going to pass. Fires left. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. He's looking to throw. This time on target. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. They'll run it from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. They get him after he picked up five and got him inside the red zone down to the 16. They are getting deep into the playbook. 11th play of the drive. Intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 10. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. Not only do they get the interception, but they're able to get a huge return. Remember, this team practices this all week, right? Once they get the interception, they've got guys turning their heads and they're looking for blocks. They're looking for people to get a hat on down the field. And with that INT, they now flip it. That could be a big point swing in this game. Barrels ahead. Touchdown, Cardinal! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. And the offense continues to run the football. The second rushing touchdown from the running back. The offensive line paid the holes. Continue to feed this man the ball. Line 
lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. This is when the pressure... And he throws his third pick of the day. His head has to be spinning. No room to return, but no problem after making a play like that, and they'll have it at the 25. Excellent field position here for the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Harris. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Fires to the tight end. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Stanford comes up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? At the end of the quarter, it is Stanford holding the edge. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. more period to go and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them and the D deny them on second and goal the run up the middle looking for the score relentless tough running gets it down to the four they love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three but it is third and goal pocket starts to collapse and the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And this one splits the uprights. And that lead grows even bigger. Just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And he's coming out of the end zone. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Thompson wants to throw. Fires to the big fella. Good pick up there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. On second down, they'll take to the air. 
Quick strike complete. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. He makes the connection. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. And now on second down for this offense. Looking to throw it again. Right down the middle. He's got it. And he makes a completion there. Set up and in business at the 20. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. Run in the red zone. It's Hughes. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Unloads quickly. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give him a finish. He wants it all. Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly. Set to catch the football. Second down coming. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. Pushes ahead. And this one will be stopped for no gain. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. Trying to punch it in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tulane! And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They still have work to do, trailing by two possessions here in the fourth. They'll line up for the onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. The Stanford offense making its way back onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line, so they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. You've got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. The give is a work on that clock. They pull him down at the 17 after a pickup of three. Got three on first down at second and seven. Scanning the field, it's Daniels. Missed receiver there, it's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And now the lead is extended to the front. kick it away he'll start the return inside his five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19 first down here with time for maybe one more play until the two minute warning caught over the middle it's Preston to the 43 yard line and a first down for this offense We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. 
And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Right through his hands and incomplete, and he'll want that one back. It'll be third down. Boy, guys, they got off to a great start with that big first play on this drive, but now a couple of incompletions leaves them in a hole. A strike downfield. Big play for this offense if they get it to the 32. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. He looks that one in nicely. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Going for it all. Throw into the end zone, and it's picked off. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting a big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. has it back the Cardinal offense returning to the field Jesse they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it yeah and oftentimes early in games you're just trying to find your rhythm some things work some don't on that first drive David It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive yeah you got a feel for the defense now you understand what they're trying to do what their game plan is now you get to go into phase two of your game plan they'll leave it with the lone back he is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. You're going to hear guys after this game say, got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to me that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.